Hi there! In this tutorial, we're going to create full 360 videos with data overlays, usually coming from a GPS or other sensors. You will need a 360 camera, some way to record GPS data, like Insta360's GPS remote, a separate activity tracker like a smartwatch or a phone, or a camera that records the GPS data internally, like a GoPro Max, GoPro Fusion, or Garmin Verb. You will also need the telemetry overlay software. First, make sure you have a GPS signal. And only then, start recording. To make video orientation easier, if possible, locate your front lens and point it forwards. Now, you will need to convert your raw video files into an equirectangular video. This is usually done with the camera's own software. For example, with Insta360 cameras, you will need to load your files into Insta360 Studio. Let it load the files. And we won't be reframing the video in this case, so let's switch to the 360 view. Now choose the equirectangular projection. The program allows you to customize things like the stabilization. For example, the direction lock is interesting if we always want to point in the same direction relative to the camera. There's options for handling the stitching, that is how one lens merges into the image of the other. Basic color correction. And other settings. And this is how an equi-rectangular video looks. We see the entire 360 degrees on one frame. You can now press the export button. And again, make sure you are exporting a 360 video, not a reframed one. Choose your file name and path, and a format like H.264 will do. We've got additional settings like removing grain, but let's export this as it is. This will take a while as 360 videos have high resolutions. If you are using a GoPro camera instead, the process is very similar, but you will be using a different software package, like exporter for the GoPro Fusion, or GoPro Player for the GoPro Max. Just load your footage, set your projection to equi-rectangular from the playback controls, and experiment with the bottom right orientation controls. World Lock prevents the video from turning with the camera, and Horizon Level keeps it flat relative to the horizon. Let's export this, and again make sure the projection is equi-rectangular, Choose a high resolution, any of the formats will do, but some of them allow us to retain the telemetry data. This doesn't always work, but it's worth a try. Make sure the other settings are correct, and choose the export path and filing. Something like Equirect will help us identify it later. For other camera brands, you will have similar software options to do the conversion. Once you have an Equirectangular video, open telemetry overlay, and let's prepare it for VR projects. Go to the settings on the top right and enable the Equirectangular VR option. This will tell the program that you want to work in VR mode. Optionally, you can also set the default pattern to Equirectangular VR. This will make your work easier, but it's not mandatory. Let's now look for the converted video file and just drag it into the program. The optimization process improves video preview within the program, but you can skip it if you want to save some time. In many cases, you will get a warning that telemetry was not found. This is expected, so just go back to your original video files and select them for the telemetry. If you have multiple files, the data is usually on the front lens, often indicated with a couple zeros in Insta360 cameras. That is not always the case, so you might need a couple of tries until you learn where your camera stores the data. If you recorded the data with a separate tracker, this is also the moment to retrieve it. You might need to sync it manually to the video, so make sure to check out the tutorial on that topic. If all goes well, you will be presented with this view. The video is now divided in six squares. Front, bottom, top, left, right, and back views. If you like the preset layout, you can just go to export, Leave the default settings, which are good for social sharing, and just export the video. Again, this will take a while, so you can go do something else in the meantime. In your final VR video, gauges will be placed on the sides of an invisible cube around your point of view. The equi-rectangular preset pattern is just a suggested starting point. 
If you want to customize gauges, feel free to move them around. Just make sure that they are not overlapping with the lines that define the cube. Otherwise, gauges will bend and break visually. Add more gauges, change their sizes, just don't break this one rule. You can also experiment with the different preset patterns. So let's pick digital, for example. But you will need to resize and reposition gauges so they don't intersect with lines. Since we are on a plane, let's do that with the plane heads-up display preset. You can find these videos in full 360 in the description. For other workflows, like reframed 360 footage or more complex 360 work in editors like Premiere or Final Cut, check out the other telemetry overlay 360 tutorial and you can find a bunch of other videos on export settings, map styles, activity presets and so on. Follow this channel to stay up to date as the software tends to be updated with cool new features. I hope this was useful, see you in the next one. Thank you.